When winter hits up here in Canada, no vehicle is immune from its wrath. It doesn't matter what you drive, whether it's a BMW, Mercedes, or even a Porsche, it's guaranteed to get filthy. Hey, what's going on guys and welcome back to the channel. Now today I'll be working on this filthy 2017 Porsche Cayenne S Platinum Edition and I'll share my thoughts on the build quality of this German SUV with you guys, so stay tuned. Now, as I finish spraying out these carpeted wheel well liners, I've noticed something that I've never encountered before. The liners are actually completely worn through and are basically falling apart. And that's after only 93,000 kilometers or about 58,000 miles. And I'm quite certain that this Porsche doesn't typically drive on gravel roads. I've seen dozens of farm vehicles like Fords and GMs that basically live on gravel and the carpeted liners hold up way better than these ones. So I'm pretty shocked at the poor quality of these liners they used. Now as I work my way around the vehicle, you might have already guessed, but yes, this is the first Porsche that I've had in, which honestly isn't all that surprising as we don't even have a dealership in town. The nearest one is a few hours away, so there really aren't many around to begin with, but either way, it's nice to get to work on one today as it's a nice change of pace from the usual. starting on the tires and you might have noticed in the opening but they were all really dirty and brown and in desperate need of a good clean which is exactly what my wheel and tire cleaner does it's going to easily remove all the dirt and browning from the tires along with any dirt or brake dust on the wheels and you'll see just how well it works when you see all the brown sludge that comes off these things.
Okay, well, just before I get to work vacuuming, I have to remove all the garbage and personal items from the vehicle. And if you've watched my videos over the years, you know I found some pretty strange things in vehicles before. Sometimes they're gross, sometimes downright nasty, and other times just more on the unique side, like with this owner's shoe collection and Louis Vuitton bag. working my way around with the vacuum, and in terms of the carpet quality in this Porsche, I'd put it on par with BMW and Mercedes, but one step behind Cadillac, which have arguably the best quality carpet of any vehicle I've seen, but as for the cargo area here, the carpet is a little lower quality, which is very typical of every manufacturer, although it really makes no sense. The cargo area is where you're naturally going to put things that are likely dirty or have debris on them, and the cheaper quality carpet with a lower pile makes it harder to get the carpet clean. Now something that could be easily overlooked, but with this being a German vehicle, I had a feeling it would have the leg extender on the seats, so I'll make sure to extend those so I can get at all the dirt and crud that's hiding in the seam.
All right, well, as I finish off these carpets here, I wanted to just quickly remind you guys about a really cool feature on the channel, and that's memberships, which can get you access to early sneak peeks, members only videos and live streams, exclusive discount codes, early access to new videos, and of course, the members only community tab, where I'll be sharing some pretty cool things soon. So if any of that sounds interesting to you, there should be a big join button right below this video you guys can check out. Moving to the door sill plates where there's a bunch of tiny little pebbles stuck in the crevice and in order to get these out I'm going to very carefully remove the platinum edition insert which also gives me the ability to remove the blue plastic film that came from the manufacturer to protect these things nearly six years ago so I'll take care of that and then while I've got this opened up I'll clean underneath it as well. All right guys, well, now that all the plastic in the vehicle is clean, I'm going to turn my attention to the leather seats. And for that, I'm gonna be using my, uh, my Detail Geek leather cleaner, and of course my leather brush, which um, really is the critical, critical tool in, in this whole step. And if you guys have ever wondered what the proper way is to clean your leather seats, well, it's very simple. You're gonna to wanna to start with either a dedicated leather cleaner like this one, or even an all-purpose cleaner, either 10 to one or 20 to one can work as well. And then you're gonna to wanna to grab a leather brush, something like this, um, that's got nice soft bristles on it. It's going to be going to be very important. You don't want to be using anything that's too rough, uh, something that could damage the leather. So, uh, you know, really, you can find these brushes on my website, of course. But really, any brush, um, kind of like this, with with soft bristles, is going to do the job. Um, and yeah, after that, it's pretty simple. You're going to spray your cleaner on. You're going to agitate with your brush, making sure to get deep down into those seams where all the dirt and the crud loves to collect. And then you're just going to wipe it off with a towel, and yeah, you're good to go. Jumping back outside now and to give this paint some protection I'm using my Detail Geek Graphene Spray Coating which will boost the depth and gloss and really make this black paint shine which you'll get to see in just a minute during the reveal shots.
All right guys, well seven hours later and the Porsche is looking sleek and sexy again. And in terms of build quality, I'd put it right up there with Mercedes and BMW. It's pretty much on par with those two, with the exception of those carpeted wheel well liners. That's a bit of a joke and Porsche really needs to do better in that regard. And interestingly enough, the Cadillac Escalade I did last week actually had some of the nicest carpeted wheel well liners that I've ever seen on a vehicle. So anyways, if you guys enjoyed this one, make sure you smash the thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel. And don't forget to check me out on other social media like Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. Enjoy the guitar outro and I'll see you guys in the next one.